Hello there and welcome to my channel, Mo Moon. Um, I have a surprise video for you guys. Uh, today is Saturday, so yes, yeah, Saturday, Saturday, all right, Saturday, Saturday. Sorry, but yeah, I'm super excited because on my Instagram account, which is also uh, Mo Moon, um, I have been posting for the past, I'd say two, maybe three weeks now, um, a Saturday message that I um, received from none other than, prepare yourself for this, Lucifer. So, um, yeah, some people might think that Lucifer is uh, a lower vibrational being, but he isn't. He's an angel, just like Archangel Michael or Raphael or Gabriel. Um, but he's, I just want to give you a little bit of a lowdown on who he is because perhaps you don't know. So when um, the angels were with God in heaven, uh, Lucifer was the, um, the angel of music and he was um, an angel of light. So he was an angel of light and he had questions. So he was very powerful and um, as you know because um, he has a lot of pull with the other angels that went with him when he left heaven. And um, so what happened was um, the Bible says he got kicked out of heaven. Uh, I don't know if that's true but I do know that he questioned God's um, character. Um, and um, he questioned how God was um, not speaking out to the human beings about who he is and um, who they are so giving them a knowledge about who they are and you might know the story as well of Adam and Eve where Lucifer was um, depicted as a serpent in a tree and he um, spoke according to the Bible he lied to um, Eve by telling her that she would be like God if she ate from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. So he, he was offering her wisdom basically to have her eyes opened to understand the way he understood and the way he still understands the, the realm of the divine which we, um, we think of as heaven. Lucifer was an angel and he still is an angel but he is the fallen angel so he left um, heaven because he couldn't he couldn't understand um, why God was being so stubborn when it came to giving information to the humans so he he knowingly questioned and he know knowingly defied God by questioning him when all the other angels were just worshiping him. So, so Lucifer is also known as the angel of he light. He is actually, in fact, an angel, but he's an angel who's using his abilities, his his mind, to create his own life and his own world. And he's not a lower vibrational being. Uh, every Saturday now, I do draw a card from my tarot deck, and this this card that I get is um, is a connection with uh, Lucifer. So here is a statue of Baphomet um, and you see he's got wings. I'm just going to give you a lowdown on what the statue kind of means. But he has breasts because he represents female uh, energy as well as male energy. And he has a scepter here which is a wand and he has two snakes around the wand. And the snakes as you know, he, he um, Lucifer in the Bible was, um, was considered the great snake of old. So he has two snakes and two is a symbol of balance. He has wings because he's an angel and he has goat feet because um, he also represents the animals. On top of the pedestal there is a five pointed star as you see. So that's the pentacle in, with the circle. The circle represents the, the cycles of life and the circle of life and as well the world. Like a goat's head and he has a star on his um, forehead and this is a fire the fire of illumination and he has the, um, the horns um, he's pointing up and this part says um, solve so actually solve is um, this part of the word dissolve this hand going down is saying it says coagula on it which means to bring together so to dissolve and to bring together breaking down old belief systems 
and um, bringing together a new way of thinking. Okay guys, so now I'm at my altar and um, I'm, I've got my cards. Um, I actually like to put each card down one at a time. Okay guys, hey, so I shuffled the cards and um, you can see my altar behind me. I really like to um, read cards for myself at my altar space. It's a good way to get into that little zone where you feel comfortable. He has a very strong, strong presence and it's actually quite scary to, to feel how, how powerful he is. So I've got the cards here and I am gonna pick one soon, but I think he's the king of this world to be honest. Um, I do believe in many deities and I know they all have their part, but Lucifer is that rebellious spirit in me that wants to strive to really get down to the truth and get down to finding out who I really am. So he's really enlightened me. So if I was going to give Lucifer another name, I would call him the Enlightener. So um, I, Lucifer, I ask that you would allow me to respect you today, even though I'm on YouTube. I really ask that you um, open my eyes to get a message today that will be suitable for um, my YouTube viewers. And I know that it will be because I know that sometimes it's hard to receive a message that is eye-opening because we don't want to change how we see life but the fact of the matter is we will never grow if we don't um truly find the the light and see things So guys, um, that's the card. I gave you an up close of what the card looks like. So it's the Six of Wands and it's quite interesting because um, as I'm sitting here, I'm getting the download of the message and, um, and the number of this card is six. So it's quite fitting. Um, as I've been reading the cards and you may see on my Instagram that I um, that I have those readings from Lucifer there but when I first saw this card I really thought that this was me I thought that this individual was me but actually how I've been reading the cards is that I've been the little prince so this is actually me here on top of the of the airplane the old style airplane as I said this is the represent the little prince is a representation of myself and as I'm looking at this card, I'm seeing that this card is the Six of Wands. I see there are two wands in his toolbox. There's one wand in his hand. There's two wands on the ground there in the corner. And there's one wand on the opposite side of the two wands down there. And he's got like a wrench in here. And this guy represents Lucifer. So it's funny because this card is actually so sweet. I thought it was going to be kind of like a dark message, but Lucifer is watching me on my plane and he Lucifer has the toolbox. He's just put back together this um this plane and it's it's working now and it's fixed and I'm I'm enjoying the fact that it's fixed and I'm enjoying the fact that it's working and I'm enjoying life now. So Lucifer has allowed me to enjoy life. And in this card, the wands is, is held by Luc are held by Lucifer. So this is meaning that Lucifer has also done and continues to do his own work in the world. Realize that, you know, the, the, the fact that this card symbolizes enlightenment and the fact that um, Lucifer has the the tools that have caused the enlightenment. So as you can see, it's a little bit blurry, but he has a he's looking at the child on the top of the plane, and um, he's just satisfied. He's he's done his work, um, and yeah, he's still got his toolbox open. So the work has just just been done. And again, this is a reading to help me to be enlightened. And I will post this reading a little bit more in depth on Instagram to explain what the answer um, to the question is for today. So how, what kind of a question we can ask ourselves in regard to this card and what kind of enlightenment we can receive. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got something from it. I think that this is also a message to people who are interested in Baphomet and who um, have seen that that um, 
that statue that I have here in the corner and who want to delve into that dark side and to realize that it's just a way to be enlightened. So um, I hope you enjoyed that little video, that little reading. As I said, if you want to see what the full explanation is of uh, what I come to as far as the conclusion of the card goes, I will, I will put my um, Instagram handle somewhere on the screen, at Mo Moon on Instagram. And you will see a picture of the card and you will see an explanation. Um, I really, really appreciate you watching this video and I really, really appreciate you having an open mind towards Lucifer. And uh, don't feel like you have to be at a certain point to communicate with him. All you need to do is have some respect for the fact that he also was um, denied the ability to question and to really grow into the extent of who he is today. Stay tuned for my next videos. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe where you can and tap that little bell so that you never miss a new video. Take care. Bye.